Good morning, Sean. Good morning, John. Um, and uh, I, I guess just wanted to start off. I'm assuming you're not going to name whether Kair or Christian are going to be uh, starting for you on, on Thursday. Yeah, not going to do that yet. Not ready to do that yet. And, and, by, and by, saying, by, by doing so, is that maybe a, either a competitive advantage or maybe a sign that both have something to prove, prove to you yet? Uh, probably both. Probably a little bit of both. Um, you know, we're still working through that. And I'll tell you what, those two young players have worked extremely hard. Um, and just, again, trying to, trying to do right by them and, and our team first and foremost. And then, I mean, if it, comp if it becomes a competitive advantage, it becomes a comp competitive advantage, but that's not really the intent to why we're doing it. <laughs> right. And, 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 and what, when you say trying to do right by them is what, what, what is that? What, what does that mean? If, if I may ask. Well, I think it really means, you know, everything we try and do is to give our team the best advantage to, to win and, and do right by the players on our team and make sure that they're in the right headspace to play their best football, um, in particular for for these two rookies who are going to be in their first NFL game. Um, I think that's really what what I was trying to say. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Hey, Sean, um, to follow up on the cornerback situation, Leslie was telling us yesterday how once Trey went on pop, obviously not ideal, but still there was some clarity of, okay, now the decision's made, we can move forward. How did that help y'all both as coaches and these rookie corners to have that determination of, all right, this is what's going to happen next. Right. I, you know, I think the, the, there's, there's something to be said for clarity. There's value in that. And, and um, whether it be for the two players involved in it um, with the two rookies we're talking about or, or for Trey or, or anyone, um, it just, you know, clear expectations uh, lead to, I think, people obviously having better understanding of what their situation is and, and what needs to get done. Thanks. Hey, Sean, how are you? Jordan Gregory with the, uh, the Athletic Los Angeles. Hey, Jordan, how you doing? Doing well, man. Nice to see you. Um, on behalf of the Rams beat, thank you so much for taking the time with the opposing media on this call. Um, kind of a, a general question for you, not related to any quarterback in particular, but through the lens of a defensive person, um, how does a quarterback weaponize post-snap processing? And that's a, that's a high level question there. Um, <clears throat> post-snap processing. Um, you know, I just think, I don't know, I'm hoping I'm answering your question here, Jordan, that I understand your question. Just, you know, what they do with these quarterbacks do, I mean, how, how smart Matthew is, how smart Josh is. I mean, I think that'll be on display in the game Thursday night is uh, both of these quarterbacks are extremely smart. They have strong arms. Uh, Matthew's obviously, he's a little bit more experienced than Josh is. Um, but these, these quarterbacks are so good anymore, um, not only post-snap, but pre-snap in terms of what they can diagnose and how the defense moves pre-snap. It's uh, it's really high level stuff. Thanks, Sean. Sure. Hi, Sean, Gary Klein from uh, the Los Angeles Times. Uh, I'll echo Jordan, thank you for uh, doing this. We know uh, it's optional with opposing media and we really appreciate you uh, letting us join in here. Um, sure. You know, speaking of Stafford, uh, in what's kind of your assessment of you know what facing a quarterback with that much experience and and now you know with with a Super Bowl title under his belt? Yeah, well, um, you know, been in the league. I have myself for a number of years. I know Matthew has as well, and and uh, uh, he's his resume speaks for itself. Um, and now really adding the final piece to that resume, I got to believe is, is uh, offers him a lot of, a lot of closure on that in terms of what he's been able to do, how decorated he's become. And um, just watching his career take off uh, with the commercials that he's on uh, that I saw over the summer and, and everything that he's been able to accomplish and do for his family. I think I'm sure that feels good. And um, so, yeah, we have a lot of respect for, for Matthew. And then just a quick follow-up uh, in regard to Dealing with Aaron Donald, um, what 
how do you guys attack that? I know you, you played against him, you know, the one time a few years ago, but what have you seen from him as his career has, has kind of uh, gone on as well? Well, uh, you know, usually you can say that a player has taken a big jump, and I think in this case, I, I, I've seen a little bit of a jump, but really it's, <laughs> he's been doing this. He's been uh, causing fits to, to offensive linemen, offensive line coaches, offensive coordinators, head coaches in this case for years. So, um, but I think the fascinating piece about it is, and this is from outside looking in, of course, the way he's been able to really um, – become a, a savant of his position and how he goes about sacking the quarterback. I mean, his, to be able to do it at his stature in the way he does it. And now these camps that these pass rushers have these, these uh, summits, I think they're now called mm -hmm. where everyone gets together, I think is pretty fascinating just to really get in the lab and break things down to a, to a, to a small science on it. So I have a lot of respect for that. Thanks very much. Sure. Hey, Sean, Lindsay Theory out here in LA ESPN. Thanks again for doing this. Uh, wanted to just get your thoughts on, on obviously you guys are, are Super Bowl hopefuls. You're going against the defending Super Bowl champs. What kind of litmus test very early does this provide for you guys? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we've got a good team. Um, they obviously have a good team. They're the defending world champs. Um, you know, we'll be playing at their place, and it'll be uh, some unknowns on both sides of the ball, um, both sidelines, and, and I think that makes for an interesting game and two good teams, two competitive teams going at it in the first game of the season. I think it'll be great for the fans at home and uh, should make for an interesting game, and, and I think one that our team's ready for, and I'm sure they feel the same way about their team. Is there a key to slowing down Cooper Cup? Uh, it, if there is, I don't think any team's figured it out yet. Uh, he's he's uh, strong. He's fast. He's quick. He's got an unreal feel for for zones and and how he uh, his rapport with his quarterback and Stafford. And um, yet at the same time, he's a two dimensional player in the way he blocks in the running game and. Um, you know, I think that says a lot about who he is and, and how he goes about his business. Thanks so much, Sean. Sure. Hey, Sean, I was curious with Isaiah, do you feel like he should be a hundred percent? What's your expectation for him at this point? Yeah, he should be ready to go. I, I can't say he's going to be a hundred percent. I think that's uh, more of a question for him, but I'm, but I, I think he's going to be ready to go. And then I was curious for you, for as long as you've known Ken and kind of seeing him get this opportunity, I know like we've talked a lot about him and calling plays and all that, but is there anything like you're personally kind of excited to see him call his first NFL regular season game? Like anything you're looking forward to seeing from him particularly? Well, I mean, we, I think we got that out of the way, you know, in the preseason a little bit, albeit it's not the regular season. I, I, I get that part, but I, I think when we go into as coaches and as players, when we go into this, uh, this mindset, if you will, uh, I'm not really thinking about it being Ken's first game. I'm thinking about, uh, you know, what I have to execute. And I know he and entrusting him that he's thinking about what he needs to execute as well. So just that trust factor and uh, and that my, that headspace that we'll be in, uh, I think we'll be so focused on trying to get a job done the right way that um, that's really where we'll be. Coach Mookie Ark as well for Sports Cincinnati. How you doing? Good, Mookie. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Um, Coach, just um, can you just assess? um training camp and 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 how how beneficial was it this year going into uh week one how 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 much has this training camp has prepared you up until this point well you know i believe training camp is huge in terms of laying the foundation for every year um and as the team heads into the season and and i would say <clears throat> this year no different we were able to have a productive training camp and get a good amount of work in and and uh but yet at the same time work well together as a team, which is important. Um, and I just feel like overall, uh, we were able to accomplish some of the goals that we had laid out for ourselves. And um, you never know till you get in the season, how it unfolds. But um, at this point, I feel good about the work we were able to get done. 
So, so what is your gut feeling on how locked in this team really is right now, Coach? Well, I don't know if locked in is the word. I just feel like our team has put in the work really, Mookie, at this point. And, and, uh, and right now I feel like um, you know, we obviously are going against a very, very good opponent, the defending world champs in the first game and at their place. So, um, you know, it'll, I'll be interested to see our team come together and there's going to be some challenging moments, but how we respond to those moments, I think will help define who we are as a team or who we're becoming as a team. Absolutely, Coach. Safe travels and uh, good luck Thursday night. Thanks, buddy. Hey, Sean. Um, thanks. Just a quick follow-up on my first question. Um, you hear so much about defenses trying to make things as muddy as possible for the quarterbacks, and you guys have been doing that for such a long time. Um, as you personally have been doing that for a long time. Um, and they also say like that that processing ability for the quarterback it's the ultimate counterpunch, right? Defenses can evolve and change, but if a quarterback can problem solve in real time, that's like the ultimate, you know, counterpunch to a defense. How have you seen Josh develop in that way? And I wonder if you can kind of describe his process because he can match that with, you know, the big arm and the ability to move. Yeah, I think that's a critical piece um, to, <clears throat> to quarterback play, as you mentioned, Jordan. And um, that counterpunch is, is important. Um, uh, and, and hard to develop. I think some of that's just innate. Um, maybe you're born with it. That's something that uh, I think the studies, the studies go on with, 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 that, uh, with that end of the game and, and drafting and all those types of things. So um, the good quarterbacks have it. And, and uh, I think Josh Stafford has it as well. And, um, you know, you see it around the league and if you, if you pull the top 10 quarterbacks, I, I think most of them, if not all of them have, have an element of that to their game for sure. Thanks, John. Yep. Oh. We're good. John, quick follow-up, sorry. And I know you probably have been asked about this all through the off season regarding Von Miller, but from our perspective, we know how involved John and Rams players are in terms of recruiting free agents and trying to retain them. I uh, just wanted to know from your, on your side, how and maybe some of your players were in, in trying to attract uh, Vaughn to come to Buffalo. Yeah, I think, you know, I think that's, um, that happens from time to time. Um, players talk, a lot of the players are friends around, the, you know, they have friends around the league or a friend who knows a friend or, uh, you know, or someone that's connected. So I think that that's, that's important. And when you have the, like, like the Rams do, they have Aaron Donald, they have, you know, they had uh, OBJ last year um, and, and, and the star power that they have, they're able to recruit players, you know, in, in, in some ways. And, and, and our hope is we feel a similar way about Josh and, 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 and Steph here and, and, uh, and some of our other players as well, that they have some of that, they've built some of that as well. So, um, I think that's that's uh, that's fun for the players. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they're human, and and again, it's a sometimes a who you know type of type of deal there. So sometimes that happens. Well, thank you again for uh, allowing us to jump on here. We really appreciate it. Yeah, sure thing. See you guys out there. Thanks again.